Hello, this is Berta Ray with SharePlex Technical Support. Today's topic of discussion is SharePlex configuration files. In this video, we'll talk about components of a config file, and we'll show you two basic ways to create a config file and activate it. SharePlex gets its replication instructions from configuration files, which are user-defined specifications instructing SharePlex which objects to replicate and where to send the data. When you activate a config replication begin. Config files reside in the sources vardar config directory. Only one config can be active at a time, but multiple configs, each replicating a different Oracle instance, can be active at the same time. A config file is comprised of the following components. The data source is a shareplex term for the Oracle set of the Oracle instance containing the data to be replicated. The most accurate way for shareplex to locate the data, only one data source per config. The source object the, are the object names containing the data to be replicated. Some or all of the tables and sequences within the source database can be replicated. The target database object names receiving the replicated data and the routing map, which is the route for transporting the data. Before creating a config and starting replication, determine how you will be using SharePlex. There is a great flexibility for reporting high availability data distribution and disaster recovery. For more information, please reference the SharePlex Admin Guide Replication Strategies. In this video, we'll show you two basic ways to set up your config file, explicitly defining each table and or using wildcard. For more information, please refer to SharePlex to the, to the SharePlex Admin Guide, SharePlex Configuration Construction for options to use within a config file. A basic config explicitly defines the source and target object name. It includes the data source, O.ORA A is the Oracle set or the TNS used to connect to the source instance. Splex demo source is the source object name with data to replicate. Splex demo desk is the target object that data will be replicated to. SysP is the target host and Aura B is the target database. The following considerations are, are to be used when using wildcards in the config file. Must be indicated by using the expand keyword. Wildcard characters are valid object names name characters. While Wild cards cannot be used to define the schema name. If used in schema name, SharePlex will assume these are part of the schema. An exclusion list may be in included to further refine the set of tables. The exclusion list follows the table specification and indicated by the keyword not. Source object name must be the same as the target object name. Tables may belong to different owners and reside in different schemas. If expand keyword in a config line, SharePlex will query Oracle for all objects that match the criteria and the wildcard specification. In this example, SharePlex will activate all tables owned by Scott except those that start with 10. All tables that match this description will be replicating, replicated to the same table name and target owned by Hal. The syntax for a wildcard specification in the config file is shown here. If unsure if the wildcard will produce a specific list of tables you want to replicate, issue the verify config command in SP control. Verify config lists all the objects for the specified schema or problems encountered. For more information, see the SharePlex reference guide chapter and verify config. If using basic config, manually edit config to add each new table to replication. See video titled How to Add Remove a Table from Active Config. Using wildcards allows for the automatic addition of any new table to replication without having to reactiva reactivate the config. If you don't want new tables to be automatically added to replication, this feature can be turned off using the SPOCT Auto Add Enable parameter. For more details on this parameter, please reference the SharePlex reference guide for details. Once that the config file is completed, Complete, replication can be started. Please refer to the SharePlex Admin Guide chapter Synchronizing Data for the First Time for instructions on how to bring your source and target data in sync. To start the replication, activate config from SP Control by issuing Activate Config followed by the name of your config file. I hope you have enjoyed this presentation. To learn more about SharePlex, please visit our website.